Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a break-even analysis template in Microsoft Excel. Friends, break-even analysis is used to get how many number of unit we should sell so that we should not be in loss. In this template, we have taken two types of cost. One is the fixed cost and the variable cost for the products. Variable cost means the per unit cost. Whenever you will sell a product, there will be a per unit cost like cost of goods sold, labor cost, overhead cost, packaging cost, or some other type of cost. Variable cost can be in the percentage also. For example, commission, percentage term. So we have considered that one also. You can put here some other type of variable cost. So I have given some others here so that you can add more type of cost here. You can just edit and you can add the information. Then we are showing using some calculation what should be the break even point in terms of unit and in terms of sale. So for in this case we are saying if we will keep the product price $40 then we should sell at least 34 units so that we should not be in loss. If we will sell less than this then we will be in loss. Alright so I will tell you how you can create this template in Microsoft Excel. I have created a table also to do this same analysis here we are giving number of unit and then what is the fixed cost variable cost total cost and revenue then what will be the profit and loss all right so i will explain this table also so in this case here you can see from here we are starting the profit we should sell the unit between 30 and 35 so here our analysis is saying 34 in this case so that we will not be in loss okay we will be in profit all right now i will explain you how we can create this beautiful template and it can be useful it is printable you can simply take the printout so you can see here it is printable it, let me add a new workbook press ctrl n this is the new workbook so here first of all we will take the product name and you need to enter the product name here then we will take price so let's take here product price and we will enter the product price here we can put here the analysis date also and we will enter the analysis date here let's create the tables here so i'm just keeping the first column as blank and i'm putting here fixed cost let's merge these two go to the home and just click on merge and center we will enter the fixed cost here we can take the fixed cost information from here let's copy this from here and let me paste it as value you can add your cost as per your requirement i'm just putting some random number here but you can enter your original number so i'm using the rand between formula let's say between 30 to 90 and i'm just filling till here only just copy paste as value and you can format this in your currency but here i'm formatting in dollar all right so just press shift control and 4 to format this in dollar all right now let me go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now we will fill some background for this product name let's fill this color and here we will fill light color let's insert one column here let's remove this let's insert one column here also the product price we will take the same formatting so this white and bold okay so let's take this formatting and just click here and just take this formatting and just click here all right for analysis date i'm putting today formula but you can enter your actual date okay let's format this all right now here we will format this fixed cost also so let's take some dark color i'm taking let's say this color and this is also header let me cut this and paste from here this is amount let's take some background here also so all right now in the last we will take total also total and in the total we will put the sum formula sum let's take this range 
and this will be on there. So we have the total here. Let's format the total also in gray color. Make this bold. All right. Now here you can put some border also. Let's select this range and uh, right click. Go to the format cells. Go to the borders. And here you can take, let's say, this light green color in the border color. Let's take this line, click on the outline and just click here on the center. So we will not take this particular vertical line. Okay. Just click on OK. So it will look like this. All right. Let's make it slightly smaller, the font size. And let's copy this and let's paste this here. This time we will take the variable cost here. And in the variable cost, so we will take cost type, let's say from here, let's copy this, let's paste as value. And we can delete these cells, just delete and shift cell up. All right, so some formula is already there. In the variable cost, we will change the value. So let's say here I'm putting $5 per unit. So variable cost will be per unit. So we can put in the bracket also. Okay, so this is fixed cost, but this is per unit cost. All right, so let's put here some random number for now. Let's say and let's do this. All right, but the variable cost can be in percentage also. So let's consider that one also and let's paste this here. So here I'm putting variable cost percentage. And in the percentage, we have taken here commission and some other cell up. Here we will take percentage of cost percentage and we can delete this. Let's put here 5%. So we will put this in percentage. You can take here some, let's take this range. If you want to change the color of table from the other table, you can accordingly you can take the border color also. Let's take this one outline and let's click here. Okay. Similarly, you can change the color here also if you want. Let's take this blue theme. Select this range. Press Alt O E to open the format cells. Go to the borders and let's take this color. Click on outline and just click. Okay. So it is formatted now. If you want to delete one cell from here you can delete it all right so this is the per unit cost apart from that we have the variable cost in percentage also so we will calculate the total variable cost in amount per unit so we have percentage as well as we have this amount okay so let's put here total variable cost in amount per unit total variable cost in amount per unit you can use this strap text here and here we will put the calculation first definitely we have this number so we will use this plus the five percent of the price so multiply by price of product and the product price will be this one whatever number you will put here just hit the enter it is showing 18 only but let's say here i am putting hundred dollar of the product price then it will be 23 now okay per unit you can do some formatting here go to the home and you can change the sale style let's take that total one put some background light gray that's a nice one all right so we have created these two tables now here we will create our summary for the break even point we can put here break even point summary all right so first of all let's take fixed cost so we know the fixed cost is this one whatever number is available just hit the other this is fixed cost now variable cost per unit so variable cost per unit will be this one so it is the total of this percentage as well as this amount so let's take this one so we have variable cost per unit now okay now we will take contribution margin contribution margin means if we are selling a product at hundred dollar and we have the per unit cost for that particular product is this one okay so the contribution margin will be 100 minus 23 that will be my contribution margin so let's put here 
सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मार्जिन विल बी द पर यूनिट प्राइस माइनस पर यूनिट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट दैट विल बी सेवेंटी सेवन ऑल राइट नाउ हेयर वी विल कैलकुलेट द ब्रेक इवन यूनिट्स ब्रेक इवन यूनिट्स विल बी फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट डिवाइड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन मार्जिन दिस नंबर कैन कम इन द डेसिमल वी कैन यूज हेयर राउंड अप फंक्शन राउंड अप एंड put here zero so it will round up this one so it is showing eight that means we should sell at least eight unit so that we will not be in loss now i will show you the calculation if i will sell the eight unit then what will be my variable cost eight multiply this 23 that is 184 dollar and what is my fixed cost that is 614 that in this case what will be total cost this plus this so this is the total cost if i will sell 8 units and what will be total sale 8 multiply the price of the product 800 so that means total sale is 800 but total cost is 798 so we should sell at least 8 product so that we should not be in loss Okay, so this is the analysis. Let's delete this, and here we will put break-even sale. That will be the break-even units multiply product price. It. All right, friends. Now to show it on the big numbers, like here we have put this. You can use the tax box. So insert a tax box from here. Bar dot. Let's insert this tax box. Just put it here. Go to the formula bar. Press equal to. Let's click here on the break even units. So here you can see it is showing break even units. Let's take this blue color. This one or this one. Make it slightly bigger. Let's keep this here. Make the duplicate of this and just keep this here. This is H ten, and we will take. This time is I ten, which will show the number of unit. We can take the font area rounded empty bold, and make this slightly bigger so that it should be visible properly. Like this, make the high bit also should be bigger. We can take the font color. Let's say this one. All right, and similarly, you can make the copy of these two. Make a duplicate. Press Control D. Here we will connect with the H11 break-even sale. Make it bigger. And here we will connect with I11. Let's select this one. Take the formatting and just click here. And select this one. Take the formatting and just click here. And you can make this one smaller because its amount, so it can be bigger. All right. So it is ready. On the top, you can put your title. Select this range and click on margin center. You can take some background color, something dark. Let's say this one, point white. Make it slightly bigger. Let's put your title here. I'm putting. All right. Now you can go to the page setup and take orientation as landscape. And here you can see it will come in the single print. All right. To create the Profit and loss table. It's quite simple. Let's take these headers and I will explain you. So let's. So what we are doing here, we are taking the units. Okay, I will tell you how you can take the units. But for now, let's put here two, and then the fixed cost. So equal to the fixed cost will come from the seat one, and that fixed cost is this one. Press F four to freeze this. Okay, so this is my fixed cost. Then the variable cost. So variable cost will be Let's take the per unit variable cost. This one. Press F4 to freeze this. Multiply how many units you are selling. This one. Just hit the enter. This will be variable cost. The total cost will be this one plus this one. That will be total cost. Total revenue will be number of units sold multiply by price per unit. So the price per unit is here. Press F4 to freeze this and just hit the enter. Now the profit and loss, total revenue minus total cost. So here we have the loss. Now number of unit, we will put here some formula. Let's say 
uh, for put the formula row so it will return the row number and let's add here three in the rows okay and just then you can fill this down so here whatever number you want to take you can take as per your understanding or let's add here in the row two sure so you can see number of product we should sell eight because as we will sell eight we will start gaining the profit okay so this is the minimum one you can sell more product okay so here you can add number of unit as per your understanding you can put some formula so friends that is how you can do the break even analysis in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.